my friends welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi this is katie and if you're new here welcome hi i'm glad you're here um and if you're back welcome back i'm glad you're back too tonight we're going to be doing a little women chat which if you're not familiar with it just means whip stands for work in progress and chat means we're just going to chat and catch up a little bit so uh feel free to pull out whatever project it is that you want to work on or maybe i'm keeping you company in the car or while you're doing chores whatever floats your boat and we'll just catch up a little bit and I feel like we have a lot to catch up on because I've had a very busy week or two and um as promised we will have like a little bit of a special guest tonight which is my mom do you want to say hi mom hi Katie <laughs> <laughs> um but I will give her a chance to just sort of get get used to everything and I'm gonna just talk to you guys a little bit and go through all of the stats and whatnot. So I am working on the canvas Dear and Delicate from the company Craft Ease and it's a legally licensed piece from Sybil Art. And I will always just have to mention, if you're interested in checking out Craft Ease, I am an affiliate and have a discount code down below that can save you a little bit of money. But of course, in the interest of full disclosure, if you were to use my link and or code, I may make a small commission. It's never something that you are obligated or required to do, but of course it's appreciated and thank you in advance if you choose to use it. Uh, all the other goodies that I'm using tonight, I am using Harbor Freights for my storage, which I'll go ahead and get set up. And then I'm using my, this is the very first Lazy River wood turning pen that I was ever able to snag my hands on from one of their first drops in honor of the fact that, well, tonight we're recording, it's a Saturday, and there's a Lazy River pen drop tomorrow. <laughs> you won't see this until Monday. And to future Katie, I hope you got the pen that you wanted. <laughs> and to everyone else, I hope that you got the pens that you wanted. If you didn't, don't give up. They're super hard to come by, but better luck next time. Okay, <laughs> Lazy River wood turning. This is a tray from Muni Made in, I think the blush pink color. And then the minder, I was just in the mood to use one of my cute dragons tonight. So this is from Agnes Little Minders. And I've got Not Your Mama's Mud in my single placer. And I'm actually still using blue wax in my multi-placer. And you guys, I don't, I mean, do I even, do I even know me anymore? Because I'm kind of preferring the blue wax to the museum putty. So that's crazy because <laughs> I am like a ride or die museum putty kind of person. But, oh, before we get into this, I have some mail that I want to get into because I don't really like to do just separate dedicated, let me put this back on. <laughs> I don't like to necessarily do separate dedicated mail videos because I don't know, they don't tend to be as fun for you guys, I don't think. Wow, Bev, you taped this up super well. Thank you. But <laughs> uh, did I say this is Canada Mail? This is Canada Mail. So I had two packages come from across the border. <laughs> and this was shipped. This one was shipped to me from my friend Bev over at Bev B Diamond Paints. I will, of course, link her channel below. Um, and oh my gosh, Bev. <laughs> well, at least I know this made it through customs. <laughs> My mom is watching me struggle, just like. Good thing they didn't have to open it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I had, oh my gosh, I'm not going to try to talk while I'm getting this out. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so there's more, tape. there's more tape. So what happened was Bev had launched her brand new line of chunky diamond painting pens, which I'll link her Etsy shop and her YouTube channel, all the things below. Um, and I was like, I want to try one of those. And then, so I ordered it and then sent her a message and was like, do you have any Canadian companies that you'd recommend that I try that I could just like have shipped straight to you? And then you can just ship all the things to me in one box so I could shave on shipping. And she was like, sure, here's some companies to try out. And you know me, I love to try new companies. Good grief, there's more tea. <laughs> Thank you, Bev. It made it. Okay. So, okay, let's see what we've got in here. Uh, first is my receipt for my purchase from Bev. And here's all her info about her chunky pens. I love that name so much. Okay. These hands are handmade and shaped by me and inspired by the hand-turned resin pens we've all come to love. I created them because in my experience, Thick pens are more ergonomic and easier on your hands while diamond painting. So, and then here's all of her socials. 
So I am super excited to see what is in here. Okay. Okay. What is. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot in here because I ordered from like four different companies and that then shipped to her. So uh, yeah. If you're not really into mail day stuff, that's okay. Uh, you can skip forward till me, you see me like not unpackaging stuff because we really do have a lot to catch up on. So this is from Chouette Sear. My French is terrible. So what is that? Okay. So they included a free minder because she partners with this shop, La Douceur d'une Plume. Um, and so I think that they sent a free minder that I bet she made herself. But I wanted to try some of her scented waxes. So I got the Bahama Berry Melon and the Monkey Fart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It smells good. I don't. I mean, I've never smelled a Monkey Fart, but okay. <laughs> I figured there might be some banana in there. Yeah, I'm excited to try these. You know what? I'll try one of these in my single placer tonight. Okay, and then a card from, oh, I know what's in here. This is from a shop called Jub Jub Cove that uh, Bev was like, ooh, this is a Canadian shop that does washi samples. And I was like, okay, you know I'm obsessed with washi tape. <laughs> so I just put a bunch of those in my cart, had it shipped to her. Okay. This is Happy Mail Day. Okay, this is just a little thank you notes. Cute packaging. Sealed with washi, naturally. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what this is, is I've never seen this before. Even though I love washi tape, I had never seen this before. It's washi tape samples. So instead of getting like a whole roll of washi, you can choose like a set amount you want to get. So most of these I think are from Simply Gilded. This is from the Cookie Something Sticker Co., which I hadn't had the chance to try, but I'd heard of them. And then this one, this one's Harry Potter themed. It says Quidditch. How cute is that? See, Mom? <laughs> she got really excited when she heard Harry Potter. Yeah, we love so, Harry yay. Potter. So cute. Ooh, Canada candy. Oh my gosh. Yay, thanks, Bev. <laughs> and then, which one's in here? A oh, Sensible de by Design. This one has the like scented putty, I believe. And Bev was like, you have to try this. So I'm curious to see if I like this in my multi placer. Okay. It's going to be like half mail day, half whip and chat. Is that everything in there? Yes. Okay, so think outside the box. Cute sticker. Were there's original? This smells so good. Okay, so I got a few of these to try. I got banana and strawberry champagne and maple. And I felt like, <laughs> maybe I'm stereotyping a little bit here. I was like, I'm ordering something from Can- Ooh, there we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Take you for a ride. I'm ordering something from Canada. I have to get something maple scented, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells so good. And it's putty, scented putty. I'm so stoked to try those. Okay, where's my Bev stuff? I think this is a card from Bev. Yep. It says <laughs> at the top, sorry, I write messy. Hi, Katie. Thank you for being a Patreon member. The support means a lot, and I'm grateful I can call you a friend. Oh, me too, Bev. And thank you for enabling me to buy Zox. Yes, Zox, these are Zox bracelets. And here's the beautiful thing about Zox bracelets, if you're not familiar with them, is it has a pretty pattern on the outside and then you flip them inside out and there's a message on there. That's just a really beautiful reminder. And you can choose if you wanna wear them with like the message side out or in. So this one says, I choose joy and was a gift from my super sweet friend, Jacqueline. So thank you, Jacqueline. This is just like a friend love fest right now. <laughs> so this is from Bev. Bev also makes minders. And this one says, so much confetti. Super cute. And then, le pièce de résistance, right? The chonky pen. I ordered this like a month ago. I think it was the very first person to order one of her chonky pens. That was her first Etsy order, but I was probably the last person to get it because I made her hold it for a month until like, oh, whoops, until I got my other Canada goodies into her. I just want to pull tape. it right out. I know, Bev, Bev, did you buy stock in tape? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these colors. Oh, look at that. Black with swirls of purple, blue, and of course, pink. 
that's super cute. And it's chunky, but it's really comfortable. I like that it's a little bit shorter too. So I'm super excited to try something a little bit different. Thank you so much, Bev. And thank you for letting me ship all this stuff to you um, and for mailing it to me. Now, okay, I have one more box. <laughs> it's also from Canada, but I didn't have it shipped to Bev because I, this was from a shop that sells out super, 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 super fast. And it auto filled with my personal address. And I was like, I'm not taking the time to change this to Bev's address because let me not stab my diamond painting because I really, really want this. And this is again from another Canadian shop that I just mentioned actually in that unboxing, <laughs> because like I said, this shop partners with Chouette Sear often. I think they have a Facebook group that's dedicated to those two shops. But anyway, this is from La Douceur d'une Plume. I got one of her gorgeous rainbow trays. I'm so excited. Oh, that's cute. I don't know what this, oh, okay. Is this like a light bright thing? That's really fun. That's what that is for packing paper. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So this is one of those things that, again, they sell out so fast, but I've seen her posting these trays for a while and I was like, it's a pastel rainbow. I have to have it. Look, there's more tape. Is this a Canada thing? Do you guys just tape stuff up like it's <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Canada, Canadian friends. Oh my gosh, I just want to get to this tray. So this came as a set with a couple of minders and a stopper. And oh my gosh, look how pretty it is. Okay, what are all these things? Okay, washi. That's pretty. And then this is a minder that again was handmade. So cute. This is like a little tray minder. Like you could hold trash drills with it. Cute. This is a minder. And is this a stopper for the tray as well? I think it might be. Oh my gosh, it's a Bob brand. And then we have, I'm guessing this is not food. This is a wax sample. It doesn't say. I wonder if it says in those little notes. Okay, it smells really, it smells like blueberries. I bet that's a wax sample. Is this another minder? Oh my gosh. You guys, this is like a happy mail. Okay. Stickers, of course. Here's the same business card. Yeah, so here's the two shops, these two Canadian shops, and all their info. So of course I'll link them both below. Okay, thank you for your purchase. You're now the happy owner of a tray from La Douceur d'une Plume. I took French in high school and went to French France a few times, but I'm just pretending like I don't have an American accent on my French. Okay, a uh, little bit of advice. So the usual things with resin, you wanna be really careful with it. Of course, like when they first, you first make it. Hey, look, you wanna practice reading it in French? Nope. Look at this flipping tray. Oh my gosh. Mom, isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. That is really pretty. This tray. Oh my gosh, I am so excited right now. Oh Can I just gosh. add that when Katie was growing up, she needed to be forced to shop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Ooh, I didn't like that sound. I don't know if this is actually supposed to be a stopper or not, so I'm not gonna force it. <sighs> so it sounds like we're gonna get into the Katie stories already. That's all my happy mail. <laughs> I'll link all the things below. Um, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> All right, what am I trying tonight? I'm gonna try the Bahama Berry Melon Wax in my single placer. So we are 14 minutes in and I have not even stopped to ask you guys, how are you doing? How's your week been? I hope you're doing really well. Okay, do you stab this? It's just, it's been a really, really, yeah, I think that's how you do it. Okay. This has been a really different uh, week or two for me, which not in a bad way at all, like in the best way, because my mom is here. And if you have been listening to any of my whipping chats or any of my lives or videos for like any time at all recently, you've heard me talking about how excited I am that my mom is coming out to visit and that we're gonna get so much done. And so she's here and we're getting a lot done. And like literally she, the other day she was like, 
Katie, you made such good progress on that diamond painting kit. I'm like, mom, I'm moving so slow. This is a 40 by 50 kit. This would normally be like a four-ish day project for me. And I have now been working on it for over a week. And I still have like, I'm not even three quarters done with it yet. So I'm just, I'm having a little bit of a complex about moving slow. But anyway, mom, have I been running you ragged or what? Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit, but I love it. I look forward to coming out and getting projects done. I love it. So it was funny because when I mentioned in some of my videos, like, oh, when my mom gets out here, we're going to do all of these project in projects and just get so much done. And there were a couple of people that commented and were like, does your mom know that you are getting ready to like work her hard? And I was like, oh no, she loves it. And I even commented about like what you do, mom, which is how you're like, I need a chore every day. I need a job every day. And you get twitchy if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, can, can I scrub your baseboards? Can I clean like the out the inside of your windows? Oh, sure, whatever, whatever you want, mom. <laughs> Feeling of accomplishment. A good day is a day with a deed done. Yes. So we. I love it. Yes, I'm oh. grateful for her. <laughs> I like just doing life. Yes. Yeah, and we're really lucky because. Um, you know, if my dad comes out with my mom, then they stay in a hotel because uh, we just we just live in a, a small space and uh, we have a sleep sofa, like a pull out sleep sofa that people can sleep on. But it's really like not practical for two people because it's not that big, especially like my parents, Adam's parents at this point are used to sleeping in like comfortable, like good size beds. <laughs> but like if just one of our parents, like if just my mom or just Adam's mom comes out to visit, then it's, you know, it's, they're perfectly happy to sleep on just the sleep sofa. And that's nice. Cause then we get to do stuff like, you know, she gets to do bedtime with the kids or, you know, selfishly, like when we all wake up in the morning, I'm like, you got the kids? Okay, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> be like, yeah, you get grandma time. And by that, I mean, I get more sleep. <laughs> so, but the kids, the kids love it. They're more, Connor just is all over you. He's um, so happy you're here. Um, I live for it. <sighs> They're having a, we're having a good time. We bought like their, the kids whole summer wardrobes. Um, but we have to return a bunch of it because Connor is just like, He's kind of an awkward size to try to find clothes for right now, but he goes back to school in person on Monday. So the day this video is up, this is his first day back to school. Please send me all of your good vibes because, and happy thoughts because I am feeling weirdly emotional about it here on Saturday night. And I don't know if I'm going to be crying or celebrating on Monday. <laughs> so uh, hopefully he does well. He's excited, but he keeps saying he's also a little bit scared, which like, if you have kids, that just breaks your heart. Like when your kids are like, I'm a little scared. And you know, it's something that it's, it's not that it's a bad thing for him. Like he is excited to go back. He's scared because it's an unknown. He's been home with us for a year and I mean I get scared when I go out <laughs> still you know like because we're just so used to sort of this lockdown lifestyle but I really think that once he sort of gets past that initial like trepidation or whatever that he really will be so happy to be back like we took the kids, my mom and I took the kids to a public park for the, this is the first time they've been to a public playground, like a public park in a year. Um, we took them on, maybe Connor went down to the beach last summer at one point with Adam's parents. I can't remember. Anyway, we took them to a public park and there was another kid playing there and Connor was just so excited to see another kid around his, you know, near his age and he wanted to go and play with that kid. So I know that he wants that social interaction for sure. And like, I don't know, mom, what would it have been like for you if you would have been stuck oh, with Sean, my brother Sean and I? I have probably lost my mind, yeah. but I think a lot of parents have lost their minds a little bit. And yeah. Wine yeah. sales are up. Wine sales are up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. No, you do what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. A lot of times it's not a matter of like, how do you do it? It's mm -hmm. like, I 
because I have to, <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, we're fortunate. Like I live in Southern California where the numbers are pretty good. Um, and vaccinations are up. I'll get my second shot just a couple, like in a couple of weeks, in a week and a half. My husband got his second shot this past week and oh my gosh, it kicked his butt. Like we'd heard that we were kind of prepared for it, but like he had to wake me up in the middle of the night because he had chills so bad he couldn't move and just felt so terrible and that lasted for like a day and then he was feeling better but he was just he felt terrible so i needless to say i'm kind of not excited for my second shot i'm excited to be I mean, fully vaccinated mm -hmm. but i don't love the process <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um let me grab some more of this color because I've got a lot of trash in here. Once again, and this is even with round drills, like these dark drills, the quality is so bad on them right now, even with really, really good companies. Um, they're just even, like I said, even with the round drills, they're inconsistently sized and there's like trash and stuff in them. So anyway, so I am, what is that? Okay, I need to drink a water because I'm really thirsty. All right, so let me keep plowing away here. Um, so feel free to leave in the comments what you guys are working on while we are chatting tonight, whether it's diamond painting or something else crafty. And speaking of crafty, um, right now, like diamond painting is kind of only my, is my only real like craft and hobby right now. But um, I think I come by my craftiness, <laughs> honestly. My mom has always been uh, into crafting in general. And so like, what what's your big thing right now? Right now I am into st rubber stamping with card making. I make cards and I send them to Connor every <laughs> Friday. He looks forward to a card, not because of the card, but because I put a <laughs> stick of gum in it. And he thinks that is just the best. The best. But I enjoy making cards. Um, I've been into scrapbooking, but decided I really liked buying scrapbooking tools more than I actually like to scrapbook. <laughs> mm. I've done count and cross stitch. There's probably a lot of stitchers here. There's a lot of overlap between yes. diamond painting and cross stitch because it's such a similar concept. Right. Yes. Um, you I'm... stitched, like you stitched our uh, stockings, like our Christmas oh, yes. stockings. So yeah, I did. I usually things. had one big project going. Yeah. Um, That's like a thing that, um, like, either even like cross stitchers or diamond painters, it's like, are you a, do you only have one project going at a time or do you like to have multiple projects going at a time? Um, I'm usually just one project at a time. But, and again, just like you, many of us just, half the fun is collecting the things, not using them. <laughs> really? <laughs> my mom, okay, here's the other problem with my mom being here for as long as she is. She's, she's seen the train of packages coming in and she's like, what, what are you going to use all of that for? And I'm like, shh, and it makes me happy. <laughs> I think she has a problem. I think I have a problem too. Had <laughs> a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which I mean I think lots of us have problems and lots of you enjoy like seeing each other's problems mm -hmm. because I could tell that you guys you guys really liked that diamond painting stash video thank you for all of the like you know watching it and all of my new subscribers that I think came in from that um and that like 99% of those comments were just very kind and encouraging and I was happy to see that. So thank you so much for that. But yeah, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a good problem. It's a good problem. It gives you joy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, let people love what they love. It's, you know, they're not hurting anyone. And I mean, I'm paying, my bills are paid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a budget and all of that. But so Here's the thing that I feel like most people were really excited at the prospect of hearing from you, mom, if you feel like sharing or have any that come to mind is like, I kind of tease them with 
just how ridiculous I was as a child. <laughs> like I, lots of people seem to think that I'm like just super chill and like cool, calm, collected or whatever. But my understanding is that I was the very polar opposite of that as a young child. Pretty polar. I mentioned that Katie didn't like to shop. <laughs> I would so literally. we shopped, she had to know how many things do I have to buy? How many pants? How many shirts? God forbid I see a pair of cute socks that I hadn't put in the description. <laughs> she did not want them. I remember yelling at her once. Do you know how lucky you are to have a mom who likes to shop? Do you know how cute you could be dressing? But she wasn't up for that. Yeah, I was Apparently. like, well, then go have one of those kids. <laughs> like, and, <that's... laughs> and I remember in middle school, you telling me, you, what did you force me? Not force me. You told me that I needed to only, was only wear jeans one, one day, day a week. week. And I needed to, I was like, what else am I going to wear? Like khakis, black pants, she like had anything, so many skirts. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to wear, <laughs> I did not wear skirts. I still not really a skirts no, person. I have no. some cute like dresses and skirts, but no, yeah, I'm very like, <laughs> well, I do remember that distinctly like okay how many things do we have to pick up how many stores do we have to go to and now my poor mom I'm like what do you want to go shopping <laughs> so maybe I'm making up for it as an adult <laughs> she's getting to do it vicariously a little bit with my kids <laughs> yeah. we have fun we have fun Oh my gosh. She and was a great kid. She had her moments, definitely. But <laughs> she her, always kept it interesting. That's such a diplomatic way to put it. <laughs> um, and I feel like I'm the reason that there's such a large gap between me and my brother. Yes. <laughs> You're lucky you have four. a brother. Yeah. <laughs> there's like a four and a half year gap between me and my younger brother. But... Um, I'm a little jealous that you get to go up and see Sean after this. I haven't seen him. I was trying to do that. I don't even remember the last time that I actually saw him in person. It's been way too long. It's tough because Sean lives, my brother, he lives in Portland. My family lives in Ohio. And like, we all try to like figure out and balance like holiday plans and travel plans. And none of us are made of money. Um, it's just been really dicey <laughs> to try to figure out. But hopefully with, you know, as the numbers get better and restrictions lift, maybe we'll be able to make up for lost time so. this summer and the rest of this year. So, oh goodness. Okay, let me grab another color. So what do you think about me having a YouTube channel? I think it's awesome. I think you but, can learn anything on YouTube. So I think it is wonderful. You are very resourceful and you're having fun and you have a lot to offer. And I just think it's cool. Oh, listen to my mom being so sweet. She kind of has to say that sort of thing because she's, <laughs> no, she's I don't. on camera now. <laughs> but I don't know. I felt like almost embarrassed when I would first, like, I mean, I felt embarrassed almost when I broached the topic with my husband. I was like, Hey, there's this thing I'm thinking of doing like making a YouTube channel. I don't even remember how it came up with me mentioning it to my parents, but it just sort of feels like there's this weird stigma around like, Oh, you're a YouTuber. You don't want a real job. And I mean, I was, I admit I was probably kind of guilty of that, but I mean, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I found a craft that I love and had people telling me, like, you should start a YouTube channel. And so I did, and I'm like, oh, hey, this is actually really fun and practical, and there's a really fantastic community here. And, yeah, so, but I don't know why. It's still one of those things that I feel weird telling, like, people in my, like, quote, real life about. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so <sighs> another color. I mean, this is like the most progress I've made on this project <laughs> in a long time. Um, well, mom, do you watch my YouTube videos? And you could say no because I don't expect 
you two. I just am curious. Like, do you ever come, like, pop over? I have not watched all of them, but yes, I do pop in and watch them. Okay, I better watch what I say, you guys. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I think about that sometimes. Like, does my mother in law watch? Does my sister in law watch? No. <laughs> Not that I'm like saying bad things or anything. It's just, I don't know. One of those things I guess you get a little self-conscious about or whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. So mom, you're retired. I am. How, I mean, you've picked up like more card making because of that. Like what else has been a major shift? I guess the timing has been. Yes. The timing has been terrible to retire in the middle of a pandemic has not been fun because we've had to cancel several trips. And that was one of the things that we looked forward to and retirement was traveling. Mm. So that's kind of been put on hold. Um, I like not having to plan uh, my life around a schedule. Um, I am working uh, on a casual basis, which means I plan my schedule around my life and I plan on working two to three days a month which just sounds about perfect to me. So I like it and I'm looking forward to um, hopefully having a lot of years and a lot of good experiences in retirement. And getting to travel out to Southern California and visit her grandbaby. Yeah, I have, <laughs> yes, I, have all, I did that while I worked. <laughs> That's true. That's true, but now you don't have to like plan um, around, um, request vacation request time. time off, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, before I forget, I was going to let you guys know, I know I say this like really basically like every whip and chat that I do, but I promise more event information is coming. We have a date. We have a date that we're going to put out a teaser for it. Like it's coming and please don't worry. You actually, you don't have to have a kit for the start of the event. So, um, like it could start tomorrow and it would be fine. Like you, you don't have to have a kit like at the beginning so there's not gonna be like a huge crazy. we're not totally crazy with the time crunch there or anything like that but please keep your eyes open because it's coming um but yeah jessica and i have just been super busy <laughs> we both have really uh just busy lives outside of youtube and we both love 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 youtube but we're trying to like just plan out all the details so that we have all the info to share with you guys at once so i also have Lots of exciting things coming uh, down the pike. I was super stoked to see Heaven and Earth Designs doing a 50% um, off sale. It was just for a couple of days. It's, o it's over by now, unfortunately. But they do them fairly often, like I think a few times a year at least. So sign up for their email list and join the like Heaven and Earth Designs Diamond Painting Facebook group but I'm going to be taking on an absolutely ridiculous and insane project. And I think you guys are just going to be like flabbergasted. Like, and yes, it's even more insane than the 220 color Josephine wall kit. So mom, what is your reaction to hearing that? I don't know if you watched any of these videos, but did you know that I worked on a diamond painting kit that was... It was 100 centimeters by 75 centimeters and had 220 colors yes. in it. That's a little bit insane. That would be completely overwhelming to me. But challenging. I mean, you were up yeah. for a challenge. Yeah. And a little bit crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what do you think about me saying that <laughs> the next thing that I have, the next, <sighs> it's like a bucket list thing, but I didn't, I didn't just take like the basic easy approach to my bucket list, mm -hmm. which my bucket list item was to take a heaven and earth designs cross stitching chart and convert it to a diamond painting canvas. Now heaven and earth designs has two different kinds of ways you can do diamond paintings. One is if you go through their crown jewel section, which is where they have the pre-printed diamond painting canvases and you just have to source the drills from elsewhere. Okay. Um, which I actually have a couple of those coming related to the event. <laughs> but uh, the other thing that they do is they just sell cross-stitch charts, which you can buy the chart. And then there are different companies that you can actually send the chart to, okay. and they will put together a blank canvas. Like, they'll get the correct blank diamond painting canvas size for you, 
and all of the drills. Or you can do it all like yourself by hand, but I'm no, I'm not doing all that math on my own. So I'm not just doing like a little mini chart for that. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a really, really big one. <laughs> it only has, it has 88 colors, I think, but it's so large that I'm splitting it into four panels, like four different canvases that I will patch together at the end. Each of the four canvases is going to be like 70 by 90 centimeters. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Because. <laughs> I would recommend having done counted cross stitch for years, um, starting with a small project just to get the hang of, you know, the way counting it out. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's not hard and it's, depending on what your pattern is, it can be forgiving. Mm -hmm. If you, And not only that, with um, diamond painting, if you make a mistake, you just have to pick one drill out. You True, don't have, you have to, to like pull frog out it. stitches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I think you could do it. I have no doubt you can do it. Yeah, I mean, it's just one one drill at a time. Yeah. And I don't, I, I'm sure this was, <laughs> I'm not trying to age you here. But I'm like, I'm sure this wasn't a thing when you were doing counted cross stitch. But there's like a really, really popular app called Pattern Keeper okay. that you can use on a tablet and you import like the chart and it'll highlight, you want to say what color you're working on, it'll highlight those colors oh. for you and then you can mark when that color is done and it like blacks them out. I haven't actually had the chance to use it before, but I've seen a lot of people that have okay. and apparently it's a lifesaver because you're not yes. referring to a paper chart. You it just... sounds like a lifesaver. Yeah. So I'll be playing around with that, of yeah. course. But I've, you know, my understanding is that it's not available on iPhones. Is that mm. also the case for iPads? Is it just not available in the App Store at all? Because I might have to, like, swipe one of the kids' tablets or something <laughs> and put Pattern Keeper on it for this. But, yeah, it's it's interesting. <laughs> we'll it see. wonderful. Yeah. That would sure help. I've done counted cross-stitch when it was all in black and white. And like you just had to go off the symbols. The paper chart. With the yes. Yeah. Well, my understanding is this takes that same chart and puts it wow. in an app, but then you can say like, okay, now I'm working on this DMC color yeah. and it'll just highlight all of those and you can, you know, count and work off What's of that. What's it called? Pattern Keeper. I want to say I heard it's not available like in the iTunes, like in the Apple app store that it's like exclusive to non-Apple, which... I mean, okay, but <laughs> don't lots of people have iPhones? That's a little surprising to yeah, me. Yeah, no, it's not. That's a bummer. I'll have to get creative then because I'm not working off of <laughs> a paper chart. Bless you. But I don't know. I don't really do things halfway, which you commented about that the other day. Yeah. You're like, when you do something, you like just go super hard and really extra. Yes. And there's no halfway. <laughs> Was I like that as a kid too? Like, is that, is that common or hmm. was I? <laughs> I'm thinking of the Lisa Frank stuff. I did have a lot of Lisa Frank stuff. <laughs> and Trapper Keepers. I'm going to Oh my you. gosh. Do you remember when like school, like sometimes on the school supply list, yeah. they would say no, no trapper, trapper Keepers. And I was like, what? Why? Yes. What is the problem with a trapper keeper? Mm. Do you guys even know what a trapper keeper is? <laughs> is that like either aging me or like is that a, only a United States thing? Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of. I don't know. Was I an intense child? Yes. <laughs> that was yes. a quick answer. <laughs> That's, I suppose that's consistent. Yes. So I mentioned the story of my life, but I really want to hear you tell it from your perspective. I don't know if, you, were you there for this or was it just dad? Oh like, no, I was there. Okay, so tell the story. We <laughs> went to an amusement park. It was an amusement park? Yes. I thought it was like a grocery store. No. Oh, which story? Oh, you could tell all of them. <laughs> I was thinking the one where dad had to carry me oh, out. Oh, that was an amusement park. Great. And okay, so if you heard the story in my live, like I'm sure I got the details because I don't remember this like at all. <laughs> we were at an amusement park. We had a wonderful day and it was time to go. And we gave a five minute warning, which we always did. And it was time to go. And Katie started 
she did not want to go and I, I believe she laid down on the ground shocker so her dad <laughs> picked her up and was carrying her and at the top of her lungs she was screaming put me down you're not my dad put me down and we walked all the way out of the park with her screaming and carrying on that he was not her dad the worst part of the story was nobody stopped us they probably thought if you are crazy enough to take that <laughs> screaming child you can have her you must be her parents <laughs> Uh, so yes because as a good mom i always taught my kids if a stranger ever tries to take you just yell you're not my mom help help and, oh. i decided to use that lesson in oh, the worst yes, way yes. maybe they saw you there like you're walking along right because sean had sean even been born oh yeah sean was there i don't remember this i, I do blocked <laughs> You blocked it out. I blocked I thought it out. You were not going to live through that day. <laughs> oh <my laughs> I was gosh. so mad at you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't. Maybe because they saw you there and with Sean. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe they just saw the haggard parents. No, that is scary though. That, like, no, no one. No one stopped us. No one. Nobody. I would certainly have called the police if I heard a child screaming, Put me down. You're not my dad. Yeah. That's scary. So Yikes. yeah, that was Katie. <laughs> At first, when you uh, said started just talk about the amusement park, I thought you were going to talk about the time that I we were at Disney World. Oh, <laughs> Katie was three. We went to Disney World, and while we were waiting for the park to open, they had those um, what do you call them? Like the like spinning signs or something. Yes. That were, you know, showing that scenes would change on the signs. So we were keeping her entertained for that. And the park opened and it was time to go in. And she did not want to leave those signs. So we carried our child screaming into Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> not many people have to carry their children into Disney World screaming. <laughs> I mean, did I just basically spend half of my childhood being hauled under one of your arms, like, to a place that I didn't want to go or leave? There was much time. <laughs> you did. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm, maybe I was spared some of that by the fact that we've been locked down for the past year with my kids. Because isn't that what every parent wishes, like, I hope you have children like you someday. <laughs> I remember carrying your son out of an aquarium. Oh, that did happen. That did happen. <laughs> oh, that was oh, that was rough. So I guess we, yeah, like I did get some of that payback. Connor, he would have been two or three. We took him to a local aquarium. And I don't know what it was. Like he just, he just was basically wanting to run away from us. Like he wasn't interested in looking at anything. And he just was deliberately running places. He knew he wasn't supposed to go and like causing a scene and causing a fuss and I was like okay we're leaving and you're right we did carry him screaming mm -hmm. all the way out to the parking lot and I just like I was both horrified and also like I dare someone to come and say something to me or like I dare someone to give me a dirty look because <laughs> like and of course it would have been like the people that aren't parents because people are always the absolute perfect parent before they have kids <laughs> But I mean, I, I don't know when I'm in a situation like that, I feel like I just get such tunnel vision. Like I'm mm -hmm. not even noticing the people around me anyway. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm on a mission. We're going to get out of here. I'm not looking at anyone. I'm not looking at anything. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> where is the exit? Where is my car? I need to be out of the situation oh. as soon as possible. <laughs> but Micah hasn't, I mean, Micah's whole second year. Micah just turned three. Have I talked to you guys since he turned three? I think I talked to you guys the night before he turned three. Maybe two nights. What day is it? I don't know anymore. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. It's like April 17th or something. I, I, <laughs> I have to think what day it is. I Where are we? What is it? My poor husband, by the way, speaking of dates, so I'm not even thinking anything of it. He is running around scrambling two days ago, which was April 15th. <laughs> <laughs> I am such a terrible person because I just didn't even think anything of it. He is literally like still in a stupor from his 
second COVID vaccine. It's the evening of April 15th. He's like, I gotta get our taxes done. He's like, can you help me find the forms? I'm like, yeah, I stacked them over here for you. He always does our taxes just through like TurboTax or whatever. And in case you weren't aware, um, in normal years, <laughs> the standard deadline to file your taxes is April 15th. We have always filed them like in February because we usually have our forms by then and we're usually getting a return. And so we want that money ASAP. Um, this year that didn't happen because well life. And so my husband is scrambling and I don't, he's like half an hour into like desperately trying to get like our ta all of the tax stuff in entered in on TurboTax. And I'm like, you know, it's okay. Like you can like, just, it's, it's fine. Like you can relax. It's like, I can't relax. I have to get our taxes done. I was like, no, you don't not to like, it's like not today. He's like, it's April 15th. I'm like, and, and he's like, it's April 15th. I'm like, and he's like, tax day is April 15th. I have to get these done today. I'm like, no, you don't. He's like, what? And I said, they extended the tax tax deadline by a month. And he just looked at me blankly for a second. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. And he's like, you didn't see me running around <laughs> like a crazy person <laughs> trying to get our taxes done and think, huh, he doesn't need to be doing this. And I was like, I just thought that you were, <laughs> we've been talking about doing our taxes forever. And I thought you were just like, okay, I'm going to do it this time. He's like, no, I feel terrible. Why would I be doing our taxes right now if I didn't have to? So he closes his computer and like throws the papers <laughs> and he's, you know, he was a good sport about it, but I was like, I'm sorry. Like my brain is in all here. But then I was like, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's there and she's trying not to laugh at the situation too. And I wanted to be like, I, he's like, didn't you know that tax day is April 15th? I was like, yeah, I guess, but I never pay attention to that because we always do our taxes super early because we're getting a return. Um, Anyway, so no, our taxes aren't done yet, <laughs> but oh, Adam is off filming another project tonight. He has been keeping super busy with those projects this year, and I'm hoping he's gonna, gonna be able to take a breather here soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need another drink of water. I'm like parched because I turn my fan off when I film so that I don't give you guys like strobe effect. We're at 47 minutes. See how fast that time goes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there any other like really ridiculous, like things that people would find really, really funny or just ridiculous about me? Oh, ridiculous things about. As a child or your insight as a parent. <laughs> <laughs> Besides me just like up and moving across the country. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not something you ever would have no. like seen me doing in a million years. Katie is a Midwest girl. She likes the Midwest. She likes the snow. She likes the rain. <laughs> <laughs> All those things they don't have in Southern California. No. But her husband is here and they have wonderful friends. And, and he's, he's doing what he wanted to come yeah. out here to do. He's, you know, making movies and making connections but am I ever the I, am I am I the kind of person you ever would have imagined like making a YouTube channel <laughs> <laughs> nothing surprises me you are very resourceful so that Aww. does not surprise me I am resourceful sometimes especially when I'm like I need an identity out of just being a mother <laughs> yes. is that something you felt like you had since you were working even though you worked part-time when yeah. we were growing up, did you ever feel, like, lost in, like, your identity, like, as, as yourself? Or, like, that was kind of taken up by being a mom? Or did it always feel more balanced? I did not because I always wanted to be a mom. Mm. And um, I liked my work, too. So, it really, working part-time was really the perfect balance. Mm. Mm. My mom, before she retired, well, now she's, you know, working casual, is a neonatal nurse practitioner in a NICU, which means you work with the tiny babies. I work with the tiny babies or the sick big babies. Yeah. You would have been the one that would have come in and taken, like, you know, 
helped us figure out things with Connor because Connor true. had a little bit of a tough time when he was born. He just, what do you call it? He had a tough time with the transition and just figuring yeah. out all his, it sounds more serious when I say it. He had a hard time figuring out the whole breathing thing, <laughs> but that's more just, I mean, things, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the changes happen at birth. So yeah. It's yeah. not, it's surprising that more babies don't have a hard time adjusting. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. And you've always just, you've always really loved your job for the most part, right? And felt like that's exactly where you were supposed to be and you enjoyed doing it. Yes. Yeah. I still say I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that There's... makes two of us. <laughs> There's so many things that, so many choices. You could make a, you could start a YouTube channel. I might. You know what's funny <laughs> is there, there are a surprising number of people in the crafting community in general that are like retired and mm -hmm. they, or they are, you know, a little bit on the older side, I think because they probably don't often, often they're the ones that don't have young children at home. Right. And I mean, there's even a lot of people with YouTube channels and successful YouTube channels mm -hmm. that are. Well, you actually older, have time so. to do things that you didn't have an opportunity to do earlier mm -hmm. you have time to do it and you have the you can develop skills mm -hmm. um, this yeah. is a way to like stay sharp too yeah you know retirement because i get people that ask all the time like how do you diamond paint so fast especially mm -hmm. because you have kids and blah 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 and i feel like this is just the perfect you even said as much i think that this is just the perfect kind of craft to have out and it's really easy to step away from yeah. it's not like with counted cross stitch where you true. have to like that is true it's and even like knitting or something because yeah. you're counting and you're i don't know i'd like to do that too i'd like to quilt mm. which there may be some similarities i'm sure there are some quilters out there mm -hmm. um i sew um halloween costumes and oh, window yeah. treatments and pillows and that's about the extent of my <laughs> sewing ability it's kind of a, um, almost like a lost art though. Like they don't really even, I think like they're getting rid of home ec classes yeah. in schools too. Like I took a home ec class where part of it was learning to sew. Wait, even the, it's not called home ec. What's it called? Life skills. Life skills. I feel like they should, they should have a life skills class Absolutely. where they teach you things like how to budget, yep. how to change the oil in your car, how to like basic handy things like actual life skills yes. and not just how to use a washing machine how to cook mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. you get a lot more use out of that from five years of french or... <laughs> <laughs> hey that five years of french meant that i probably had halfway decent pronunciation on these shops <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah there's a lot of quilters in johnstown some people mm -hmm. that I went to high school with are still like really into quilting, but I don't, do I need a lot of space for quilting? I don't know. I've got a big house. That's true. <laughs> there's there's no kids. children in it. I can pick oh a room. Oh <laughs> gosh. I think like here's a good like comparison of where my parents live like in, well, the Midwest to Southern California. So I'm pretty sure the square footage of their basement is larger than like the square footage of our entire home here. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Yeah. That makes storage at a premium. So my mom knows like, you know, this week before she, she heads out on Friday, she's heading up to Portland to see my brother. Um, I'm like, we still have to do the garage. That's what I've been talking to you guys here about too a lot is like, we're going to get the garage organized and cleaned, but that's going to be, that's going to be a project. No, we've gotten big projects done. We have, which is why I have been. We went MIA. through kids toys. Yeah. If you have children, you know what a project that is. And like props to my mom, by the way, because like literally gifts that I know she got these kids like at some point for Christmas or birthdays. Like there were gifts of those that ended up in the donate pile because yeah. the kids don't play with them. But right. I appreciate her uh, approach, which is just like, if they don't use them, they don't need to take up space in your house. I'm like, okay, thank you for not making me feel guilty <laughs> about like, if there's things, not like the really sentimental things, right. of course, like some of the books and stuff like that, that you've brought that I had when I was a kid or mm -hmm. stuff like that. like. Obviously, that I'm not getting rid of. But. Wait until I'm gone to get rid of it. 
<laughs> no, I'm as sentimental as you are. Yeah, like it's a bad thing. No, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's a wonderful. It's thing. like a balance, right? Like yeah. some some nostalgia and some being sentimental. 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 This means it's time to wrap up because mm. I'm slurring my words and I'm only drinking water. Um, it's okay to balance that with also like not you don't want to be a hoarder. <laughs> so. Right. Well, this is actually really good timing for us to go ahead and wrap up because I just finished this section. I'm officially three quarters done with this beautiful piece. And I just want to show off to you guys really quick. My favorite thing easily about the Craft Ease kits is that they include these special enhancement drills. Like these are crystals, like these blues. And they're all through the leaves and stems of these plants. And they're two different shades of blue that right next to each other, when they're put right next to each other like that, I feel like they have a metallic effect. And it's mm -hmm. so pretty. Like, look at that you guys this is gonna be so stinking pretty when it's done and I just have the top here there's lots of color blocking in her hair so if I don't have too much trouble with those black drills we'll just blitz right through this hopefully really soon but thanks for hanging out with us and my special guest mom I thanks for it. chatting she was a little Wonderful. bit nervous so I was like no, no no it's fine it's like whip and chats are super laid back and we just hang out and you guys are nice <laughs> so thank you guys for hanging out while I did you know all of that Canada mail unboxing be sure to go check out Bev and her chonky pens and I'll link to all of these shops of course so you can go and check them out um and I hope you guys had a really really good weekend thanks for watching if this video was enjoyable and fun and entertaining for you, please consider giving a thumbs up before you click away. And if you're not already subscribed and you made it all the way to the end, I have a feeling you'll like it here. So consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I share any videos, which is usually a few times a week and when I go live, which is at the moment, a couple of times a month. So, um, of course, leave any questions, comments, thoughts below. If you made it all the way to the end, let's see. Hmm. Mom, what's your favorite animal? <laughs> a dog. A dog. Okay. If you made it all the way end, all the way to the end, leave a dog emoji in the comments for my mama. <laughs> <laughs> all right, friends. Uh, thanks again for hanging out with us. I hope you have a really, really wonderful week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.